Hello! A big thank you to Laura McHenry for regaling us with tales of pinnipeds and underwater gas exchange. I'm Mike Brzezinski, and I told you more than enough about me in Rhino Farting 101. Instead, here's our beloved guinea pig, Miss Biscuit. She is well-loved and has even contributed to a past science fair experiment where we convincingly proved that she prefers blackberries to most any other foods. If she stays there much longer, she's probably going to poo on me. Thank you, my lovely assistant, Zoe. <laughs> Guinea pigs were domesticated in approximately 5000 BC in South America, originally for eating, but upon being shipped to Europe in the 16th century, they became a popular exotic pet species. Wild guinea pig relatives are known as cavies. The domestic guinea pig does not exist in the wild, and science are not quite certain which cavy species they are descended from, although it is thought to be the montane guinea pig, Cavi shudai. And before I get too far along, as you may or may not have guessed, the answer is yes, guinea pigs do fart. Today, guinea pigs are incredibly popular and are among the 10 most commonly owned pets in the UK. Anyone who's owned a guinea pig will know that they certainly fart, yes. And these farts can be both noisy, yes, and smelly, yes. Guinea pig farts often make squeaking sounds, which honestly can be difficult to distinguish from the vocalizations that these noisy, squeaky animals use to communicate. Broccoli, cauliflower, and sugary foods, among others, cause guinea pigs to pass the most gas. And these small rodents often become more gassy with age. Well, there's something to look forward to. Too much gas in a guinea pig can be a bad sign, however, because if it becomes trapped, it can cause serious health problems. So if your guinea pig is having trouble passing gas, it is probably best to take it to a vet. But wait, there's more, because Adam Hoshik wants you to know about the sounds a shaggy beast the grizzly bear might make when alone in the wild. <laughs>